My name is Larry Reed. I'm the Sports Information Officer here at Thompson Rivers University. This is Meet the Wolfpack, where we get to uh, uh, go up close and personal with a number of our student athletes. Uh, today, we are joined by uh, Gerard Gore from our men's basketball team. Uh, Gerard, Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year to you also. You. Well, how was your holiday season? It was pretty good. I enjoyed it. Nice. Um, I enjoyed the break. Cool. But now you're back at school and now second half of the season. Uh, what are your thoughts as uh, we're into the second half of uh, the CIS season? Uh, well, hopefully we could get a little better this year. Last year, well, last semester was an up and down season for us. And we, well, really haven't found ourselves as a team as yet. So we need to, we're working on that blending more, figuring out who we are. And hopefully that happens soon, very soon. During the break, you got to play some games in uh, Phoenix, I think, and, and in Washington State. Uh, what was that whole experience like? Well, playing against Western Washington, I, we played against them last year, and it was a tough, like, tough loss because we came out, we were down by one in the first half. Second half, they handed it to us, but we learned from that, came back this year. We we're a lot better this year, and it was a disappointing loss, but we learned a lot, and then went down to Phoenix, played a few pretty good NEI teams, and we beat them, so that was an accomplishment, but then came back up to Washington again and lost that one. It was a tough one, but we knew what we did wrong, so hopefully we learn from that. You're from Antigua. How does someone from Antigua wind up in Camelot, <laughs> British Columbia? Uh, that's a very long story. Um, I went to junior college in Tennessee mm -hmm. and after my two years I signed on to Faulkner University in Alabama, Montgomery and some things went wrong. Uh, got ruled in Elgin by the NAIA and the school pulled my scholarship and so forth so a couple of emails got sent and ended up out here in Kalamazoo. Nice! It's a it's a radically different, isn't it, from uh, from where you grew up? <laughs> Very different, a lot different. But you seem to have adopted, like you've like uh, as Kamloops as as a hometown. You stayed here in the summer. You worked at, at the, the TRU sports camps. We'll give a plug for them. What was that like? Well, the experience at a sport it was new. Like I dealt with kids before, but not in that case where I had to go for, go with them for so long over such a long period of time. But. I learned a lot from doing that and so forth, like teaching kids, being around them. I like the fact of doing that, so that was pretty good. Nice. What are you taking here at TRU? Oh, I'm on business, business ad administration. Right. So. Which, with a future goal towards? Uh, hopefully information technology, but for, as for right now, I'll stick with just a straight business administration fact. So right. Right. What about uh, and, and you've you've been uh, you've had uh, as you mentioned experience at two other colleges or universities. What what was it like class size in comparison to TRU? Pretty much the same. Um, Cleveland State was a community college and it was like probably forty to one, maybe a little less. Mm -hmm. Class size the same at Faulkner University because that was a private school, so it was pretty much the same because it's the same here. Also, I don't think I had a class with more than. 46 students since I've been here so how do you balance the the, the, the how many courses you take and how do you balance the whole because uh, yeah, you guys practice every day or if you if you don't have a game here at home on the on the weekends you're, you're traveling how do you how do you balance all that sort of stuff well you just have to use your time wisely especially all the free time you have you do a little bit of work now and then maybe take a little break but every free time you get you have to do some work or else all the work piles up on you and you surely don't want that Right, no kidding, at yeah. the end. Here in Kamloops, five radio stations cover the Wolfpack. There's a, a TV station, there's a newspaper as well. What's that like? And it, we have, it, Was it a tough thing or a different environment to get into from, from what you were used to? Because you can walk down the street, people know Gerard Gore plays for the Wolfpack baseball team, or basketball, <laughs> basketball team, I should say. Yeah, um, I don't like, I never really experienced being in um, Tennessee and so forth. It, was, it wasn't a pretty big town, but it was basically the same size. And uh, the school wasn't covered that much by the newspaper outlets and so forth. So I can't really say, speak about that. But here, I hear it a lot, like on the radio, in the newspapers. I always talk about TRU and sports, I guess, because we're the only university here. But. Uh, it's a different experience, so. Right, to people, to the, especially the young kids that maybe you've worked at at sports camp. Yeah. Are you in a grocery store and somebody comes up to you and yeah, a little a yeah, kid, and, and what's that like? It's pretty exciting, because especially at times while we have games, like I did the um, RTC stuff last semester, right. and 
going back after games on the weekend and going to coach on Sundays, and kid was like, oh, you guys played great. And I'm just sitting like, where you at the game? He's like, yeah. <laughs> like, being so busy, caught up into the game, you don't really know who's there watching you and so forth. So that's like sometimes a surprise, mm -hmm. especially knowing on Saturdays, like, we play pretty late and they're still out just to support us. Like, that's feels pretty good. Just before I let you go, what words of advice would you have for a potential student athlete looking at coming to Kamloops, coming to TRU, and coming to play for Coach Clark and, and the basketball program? Uh, I'll basically say, like, we just have, have to be prepared because coming, especially coming straight out of high school, is a different system between high school and university. So you have to be prepared um, in order to take on the challenge like to watch the head you don't know what's ahead maybe you might have some folks who've been on that level before who tell you like uh oh, university is this university is that but each university is different but like even when it comes to practice time and so forth it's much different you have to put in the work in order to get so much better because it's more competitive at the university level than is at high school so just preparation proper preparation all right, words of advice from Gerard Gore, who is with the Wolfpack men's basketball team.